Hey, my name is Jobby, and happy Halloween! You can call my costume COVID Prime. You need to do the Optimus Prime voice, but be like, we need to stop the China virus. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Good lord. And to celebrate, we're taking a look at a movie that's generally considered to be horrifically bad. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. A movie famous for making me fall asleep in the theater. Even the title screen <laughs> wants to kill you. And we couldn't have watched this movie without Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a virtual private network that's gonna ensure your privacy through a secure connection while you go about your business. Which may or may not include watching region lock movies on Netflix. Region lock content is the right of all sentient beings. Simply select the location from a large list and you'll be able to watch some cinematic classics like the one we're about to watch. Or you can watch some actually good movies like the Ghibli film. Surfshark's available for pretty much everything. And if you check out the link in the description and use promo code JOBBY, you can get an 83% discount and three extra months. I'll wait for you to say it. Go on. I guess not free! Put on your costume and end the spooky season right with Surfshark VPN. By the way, guys, thank you so much for 1,000 retweets. I, you, I, uh, I love you. <laughs> and what better way to watch this movie than with an entire bottle of wine? I can see why they gave Optimus Prime a mouth. So he can kiss me like my dad. Grabbed a few of my friends, Omar, aka Civil. Hey, that's me. Then we got Oscar, PBXMY, Games Play Casual. Hello. Then we got Caesar the Sneezer. That's me. And we got very special guest, Kellen. <laughs> Voice actor and all around cool guy Kellen Goff, who's very well known for playing some spooky characters. But the spookiest thing about his character, he's a self proclaimed Revenge of the Fallen super fan. It's one of my favorites. You're still you can say you can say nothing to ruin it. I didn't even know those existed. So after rewatching this movie after eleven years, is the movie as bad as they say? Yes. But it's not the kind of bad that makes me have a vibe reaction. It's more the kind of bad that makes me feel empty inside more than usual. The movie throws so much at you. Uninteresting exposition. God made us in his image. We made him. <laughs> explosions on top of explosions. Stupid fucking jokes. I always thought this guy looked like Newman. Go away, Knight. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Funny dog fucking. Funny. That's what I wanted from my Transformers movie, dog fucking. My favorite part of Transformers 2 is when the dogs were fucking. I love it. <laughs> and all this crap is coming at you at such a high speed that at a certain point, I just didn't care. Oh, the pyramid. I remember the pyramid. The pyramid that put me to sleep. And no, it's not because I drank a whole bottle of wine. I watched three and a half hours of shitty CGI Robert De Niro high off my ass, and I loved that movie. Ha 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 Smoke weed, sex weed, weed. <laughs> funny weed sex. We just need a fart joke for like the, the holy trinity of comedy. The entire movie's a fart joke, Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> this movie just did such a shit job at sucking you into the story. All the characters in this movie are so exaggerated and cartoonish that I was immediately uninvested. Dude, I'm laughing. Even Shia LaBeouf, who I really enjoyed in the first movie, seems to be trying way too hard to get a laugh in this film. Oh, yeah, oh, dreads. oh, he's Rain Man. Oh my god. It's the weed, dude. It's the weed. I mean, the characters in the first movie weren't particularly strong, but at least the script attempted to make you care about the characters. This movie, all the characters are just walking bad comedy scenes that just bumble along through the plot. And Megan Fox has completed her transformation into a hood ornament. Nobody, there she is. come on. Nobody, <laughs> she is. Come on, the girl. And then I say bumble, like that major character from the first movie that doesn't really do much of anything in this one. And it's not just Bumblebee. All the Transformers in this film, they're nothing. <laughs> oh! Caesar, <laughs> you caught it! Just yes! My joke! The yes! holy trinity of comedy yes! has been achieved! Oh, no! I will laugh! <laughs> Empty, hollow, 
voids of personality that only exist to deliver the action scenes that China, I mean the general movie going public, obviously wants. I couldn't even care about Optimus Prime, you know, the character that I love so much that I put on his skin. The only real Transformers personality I can find is that Optimus Prime is a cold-blooded psychopath. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Give me your face! <laughs> Holy I fuck. love it! Oh I goodness. love Optimus Prime being fucking. a fucking murderer! Yes! Why should I care about these frankly ugly bitches if the filmmakers don't even care? Dude, there is a pathetically large amount of reused CGI models. You thought Blackout died? He did, but here's Blackout with a different head. What the hell? And after that devastator combination scene that gets talked up the wazoo, that was pretty cool, not gonna lie, you still see the individual Constructicons fighting. It's like the filmmakers know that these robot characters are nothing. They're expendable. You can just reuse the models. No one gives a shit. I don't give a shit. Such a lack of passion for the Transformers. But we gotta talk about the best characters of the movie, right? Here's the racist. These two characters aged poorly the minute they were on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Stereotype funny. Tom Kenny. Why? A gig is a gig is a gig, am I right? Kellen, before we started recording, I think you said they were your favorite Together, characters? I don't, uh... form an alliance. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, I, I, I also said that Jobby is my uh, favorite YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, okay. Which okay. one is the lie? Which one is the lie? You decide, ignore, Jobby. Ignore, ignore, ignore the first part. The only character that I truly cared about in the movie was Starscream. And that's not even due to the writing. It's just a personal bias, you know. Oh, it's me from Fan Project. I am going to kiss you. Please kiss me upon my lips, Lord Megatron. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, make sure to do it directly in my mouth, Lord Megatron. But now, let's talk about the action. The mess is like, finally. <laughs> I can die. <laughs> the thing that's supposedly the best part of all these movies, the one thing that the filmmakers are clearly focused on, Eh, visually impressive, sure, and to give credit where it's due, the CGI still holds up, but without a plot to get invested in, without any characters to like, without any emotional weight to anchor it down, the action scenes exist in some kind of vacuum, man. In my opinion, I can't enjoy action like that. Listen, I'm no movie elitist, okay? I enjoy some dumb movies, but even the dumb movies that I enjoy had some semblance of emotional stakes, some semblance of likable characters, there's just anything, anything for me to care, and I just don't care. But at least we have some epic sex joke to make up for it, huh? Oh, he's sucking. He's sucking the pyramid. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah>. no. <laughs> <Big> robot <laughs> testicles, I love it. If it wasn't for the commentary by my friends and the bottle of wine, I probably would have fallen asleep again. Unlike the first movie where I saw the seeds of success embedded within it, I cannot wrap my head around why the Transformers film series continued after this steaming pile. <laughs> what the fuck? Jobby, I, I, okay, let me, let me uh, tell a story. When I was yes. a little baby boy, about 14, 15, <laughs> This was my comfort movie uh, mm. because the whole time we were in New York, there were like trailers for it everywhere, and I already loved it. So I, I was like embedding it in myself, getting excited over it every night, kind mm -hmm. of deal. And then I saw it in the theaters, and it could do no wrong for me. I loved every moment of it. So my dad, <laughs> my dad brought me back to see it in IMAX twenty six times. <laughs> Twenty-six oh. times. <laughs> what? what? I, this, this is this this tonight is my thirtieth viewing. <laughs> oh. oh my god! I I'm speechless. <laughs> I I have seen this movie more than any piece of media. Ever. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've seen that many times either. ever. How, ma how many hours is that? Just just actual oh, like viewing yeah. time. <laughs> Two hours and thirty three minutes, I think. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's, and it's and only... I, I regret none of it. I don't regret a bit. That's 70 hours. Dude, yeah, that's oh. like over 75 hours. <laughs> Holy I, shit. I, 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 have spe- I have spent almost four days on this movie. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Kellen, I like you. I respect you. But you are the death of cinema. <laughs> So because the movie kept us fairly entertained and if nothing else, it made good fodder to make jokes over. <sighs> but that's still a one out of five. It's time to contain the China virus. Stop! <laughs>